Yo, yo, yo. How is everybody doing right now? Okay, let me just see if I can sort a few things. So, firstly, I want to say hello to everybody in chat. If you are in chat, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll try and do the whole um, throw the comment on a scenario probably want to take that off so today i uh i already prepared that i was going to do a live stream so i did it last week which was my first one which was more of a tester got to grips with how the software works and everything kind of works so hopefully you can hear me okay and everything's fine in that regards please let me know if it's not also on that lovely note um i've actually got some topics to go through um i've got one two three four five five topics to go through so hopefully if you're re-watching this you can actually rewatch this without it being some like rambling uh, nonsense with some like, you know, non talking parts, I, I guess. So, uh, firstly, I just want to give a few shout outs to some people in chat. So, this is a bit delayed, I can see, because it doesn't quite work properly, which is a bit annoying. So, the Vapory, Bobo, how you doing, my brother? It's good to see you in chat as always. Hope everything is good. And, like I said, if this um, <clears throat> live stream um kicks off i guess i'll actually do more and more and more and i'll bring in guests like the vapory uh, bobo uh, you've also got shane foster uh thanks for dropping by how's it going my brother from another fucking mother um the quality is also a thing that i want to try and work on because i've seen i can do it for obs i know how to do it for obs but i love being able to like do this like boom Big shout out to Shane, my brother, and I've got James, like boom, just giving a shout out on screen. I absolutely love that. I think that's absolutely awesome. And also there's a few other things that which you'll see going through the live stream, which is some new little things, which I know you can do. It's just a lot of effort to do. Uh, but there's a few things like I mentioned, cool little things that'll pop up and you'll see on screen and you can interact with. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So Firstly, let's just jump through. So we said hello to everybody. How's everyone doing? If you could like this video, that would be awesome. I've got a little banner for that, actually. Where's that? So yeah, like the like the stream. Uh, subscribe, of course, if you haven't. Why are you not subscribed already? That's absolutely madness, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so subscribe if you can. Uh, like, you know, if you want to. I'm not even that bothered. I mean, do what you got to do. Boom! We've also got my main man in the house from Portugal. How's it going, my brother? Always good. I'm glad you could catch it. There you go. Look at that. Also, I love the fact you got the pictures. Where's the picture here? You can see this guy's beautiful face looking fucking hot as shit in them sunglasses. Absolutely love it. Looks good, mate. Awesome. Good, good, good. Sweet. Shane also looks like a bit of a player. I'm not going to lie. Just going to say it. But, okay, so today's stream. Let's let's talk on topic so um, people aren't missing anything. So hopefully I'm not lagging or anything because I lagged a little bit for myself, which is a little bit weird, but what are you going to do? So first things first that I want to talk about, and this is like the new little, look at this guy, everybody. Look at this little guy right here. Oh, I'm also having a little drink. I'm vaping on a few things as well, but we'll talk about that in just one sec. Do I actually have that? Yeah, I do have that in the in the talk about section. So yeah. So um, yes, eSig uh, Click Vape Awards. So if you guys didn't know, um, I am nominated, which is just a huge fucking honor. Just huge honor just to be nominated for an eSig Click. I can't even fucking say it. eSig Click Award. Okay, um, which is for the best UK. Let's actually see what it's actually called because I keep saying it's like the best and all this other stuff, but it's probably maybe not as arrogant as that. Oh, best YouTube uh, vape channel in the UK. Okay, so there it is. So it's right at the bottom. So if you guys haven't voted yet, go and vote. Vote for your favorite e-liquid, your favorite devices, pods, mods, RTAs, tanks, strippers. Vote for all your favorite stuff all over the year of 2019 um, and make sure also to vote for me if you want to. It's just there. Like I said, the segment for reviewers is right at the end and you can do internationally, which is like your Grim Greens, your Mike Vapes, uh, your Bogans, all that lot are on your international. And then you've got the UK scene, which is, I believe, top 10. And I'm luckily one of them top 10, which is an absolutely huge honor. So massive thank you to everybody who's nominated me first off and... Yeah, just absolutely awesome. So let's jump in to the next segment, which is the main sort of segment that I want to know from you guys about and also talk a little bit about me. And that is what is in four of you. So last week I gave you four or five 
kind of items, and they're going to hopefully be coming out around this week. I usually do one to two reviews a week, but I'm just getting too much stuff right now, and it's just it's just too much. And some stuff I'm not reviewing. I'm not even going to show you that in this segment just because it's just crap. It's just, yeah, it's just crap. So the stuff I'm actually going to show you is maybe a little bit different, a little bit unique, and what I will be reviewing in the future. More, most likely not this week. It'll hopefully be the week after or maybe even the week after that. So first off, let's just do what's on the top. We've got the Vaptio Cosmo Plus, okay? So that's the packaging, the Cosmo Plus from Vaptio. Uh, this is just basically a tiny little setup. It's not a pod. It's just a tiny little setup. It comes in bubble glass, and I just think the bubble glass looks so weird that I had to put it on just because it's such a, like, thin um, very sleek design, and he just got this weird like bubble <laughs> just there. Really weird. Um, it has a tiny screen, if you can see that. Absolutely tiny, and this is the up and down buttons and the fire button here. Really small setup. Um, I guess it kind of is a mouth to lung. That's what maybe it's going for. I believe I've got the sub ohm coil in here, so it's not necessarily for that setup right now. Yeah. Yeah, that is doing an absolute treat. So yeah, tiny little guy, black and gold as well, looking pretty fancy, liking that. And I do have two of them. So if you guys are one of my patrons, you're most likely going to get one of these in the post uh, relatively soon. So, um, which is pretty good because it's actually quite nice, really good flavor. So not bad whatsoever on the first impressions of that bad boy. Next up is a couple of products from uh, Vapresso, who you probably do know. And this is the Degree um yeah this is like a pod kind of system this is basically a massive competitor for um lost vapes um crap lost vape quest whatever it's called <laughs> i'm sure someone will correct me but this is what it is on one side it looks very sleek and business that looks all business and then you turn this bad boy over and it's a party it's a party all of a sudden not really sure how i feel about the colors um but yeah I mean, let me know in the comment section right now in chat. What do you guys think of this? It's kind of weird with the lines as well. A little bit weird, but um, I think some people might like it. Of course, you have space for a lanyard because, of course, you need a lanyard. I mean, it's 2019. Everything has a lanyard nowadays. And, yeah, I mean, the adjustable airflow is top airflow, um, but it's more of just these weird uh, plastic rings, so I can take the drip tip off like so. But you also can take the uh, airflow control off as well because it's just plastic just a bit of plastic that you can easily remove so i mean is that it but you know yeah you know i mean the fla flavor is again is pretty good but it seems like that's quite an easy thing nowadays because i feel that um most products now have good flavor but just because we've gone through the shit oh a bit loud for me oh no i'm yelling See, this is the thing. My my mic says it's on 64, so I'm going to move the mic a little bit away. But the mic says it's on 64, and it keeps jumping to, like, 88. Oh, my God, we've got royalty in the house. MBK Vapor Motherfucker is in the house. My God. It's been a while, my brother. How's it going? I know you're on this fitness thing. You're losing a bunch of weight. You look fantastic. You look sexy. That's what you look. Um, it's awesome to see you as well in the chat, so thank you for dropping by. Um, that color, uh, that colors are a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's different. It, uh, you know, it's, it's different. Uh, it's not necessarily to my tastes, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. No, that color, Rob. I know it's because it's weird. It's kind of like pink. It's got like some pink, it's got blue, pink, and it's kind of like, a cloudiness of color. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure. But what's weird is how the other side, this is the plainest I've ever seen a device in all my life. And then on the other side, it's just so much color. It's just the, yeah, it's just the weirdest thing ever, which is pretty just jokes. It's just jokes, to be honest with you. The sound is fine. Oh, awesome. Oh, I see. The color's a bit loud. That makes sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll move myself a little closer then so you can hear this sexy, beautiful voice. Okay, so next, um, I was going to say last, but it's definitely not last, 
This is something you would have heard about most likely because I think it's been on a few different places. Um, it's also a very popular item, the first version of it. And this is the Swag 2, also by Vaporesso. So if you guys remember the Swag, um, I actually might even have that somewhere. No, I think I gave it away. Yeah, I think it gave it away. So the Swag literally looks identical to the version 2. No difference really at all. Um, very, very similar design. The only real difference I noticed straight off the bat just by touching it is this material is the exact same from the Gen. So if you guys remember the Gen, which I do have somewhere, let me quickly go get it one second. So this bad boy, the Gen by Vapresso, if you remember this, absolutely beautiful mod, absolutely love it. Um, this is pretty much, well you, can, well, you can just see, can't you? Pretty much identical material right there. But I actually like it. Super lightweight, uh, it's rubberized, so it's really grippy in the hand. It feels nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like some cheap plastic. Actually feels good. Um, and yeah, this version still seems pretty awesome. Uh, we've got a sub-ohm tank uh, from the same sort of coils as we've seen before. This is a dual mesh coil <clears throat> with the airflow fully open at 50 watts. The screen is actually quite nice as well. Easy to read, as you can probably see. Uh, so let's give us a vape. Fuck me. And as you can imagine, with a dual coil, the flavor from this, and it's a mesh coil, <clears throat> is just incredible. It is just really, really good. So spoilers for the review, but the flavor from this is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And I have like a mixture of concoction of um, fruits in here. That's what the liquid is. And I'm vaping on an old, oh, I can't pronounce these. These are the ones that people say they can't pronounce. Old Mont, Moot, M M <laughs> old, old Mont Cider, or whatever you pronounce. And this is pineapple and raspberry. I mean, a beautiful pairing. Um, I'm kind of like a lager man, but I do like a cider, especially when you can uh, match the cider uh, with a fruity liquid. Oh, mate, it's just beautiful. Um, let me read some more chat then. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Miss one amazing comment. I'm good, Rob. Thanks. And yes, I am sexy. We all know this. We all just know this, Dan. Um, <clears throat> you need to try the uh, Aspire. Oh, God, why do these fuckers name these things the hardest thing? Do you know what it's like to be a reviewer? And then you have some weird fucking names. And you're like, I don't even know how to pronounce that. And then you have to say that live on a YouTube video that lasts forever to hundreds of people potentially watching, or even thousands of people potentially watching. Yeah. Mulus, uh, Rob, also a bit of kit. Interesting. Aspire is such a weird one as well, because they tell me about new things coming out, but they don't send them to me. And I'm a bit like, why the fuck would you tell me this and not send it to me? It's really weird, really frustrating. Um, that little swag, I like it. Yeah, so the original swag, I thought was a great little idea. Um, single 18650 on this bad boy. Um, small little device, works really well, no problems whatsoever. And it's not necessarily a massive jump up from the last one. It's just the chipset is obviously the uh, Axion chip now. Um, works really well, very responsive, very as precise as well. Even charging, quick charge, all of that stuff. Great bit of kit, great bit of kit. <clears throat> There's a bit of a double double barrel look to it, exactly, yeah. So you do have the battery chamber, and then you do have, of course, the uh, tank, and then the uh, chipset on this side, which is pretty cool. Um, I like it. And like I said, it's actually quite lightweight considering uh, the materials and everything like that. Beautiful. Oh, look, this guy. This fucking legend. <laughs> okay. Flat Cap, Rob, you wonderful man. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas to you as well, bud. Uh, if you didn't know about the show that I'm doing, well, it's not really a show. It's just something I'm trying and just messing around with, really. Nothing really fixed or actually happening. Um... But I will potentially, if people want, I'm going to talk about this at the end of the show, basically just to see what you guys want for a stream. That's literally it. I want Because if I am to make a weekly or bi-weekly stream, I want it to be obviously for you guys. I don't want it to be another vape stream or a stream all about me just talking shit. I'll love it so you guys can interact and be part of the show, have other reviewers on and have a whole, a whole shebang. And obviously Flap Cap Gaz will be in here no doubt, because uh, he's a beautiful man, and I think he's in love with me. I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, exactly. It's got that slight indentation down the middle to basically show two kind of like separate sort of uh, tubes. Um, 
it's obviously like a little bit fictional, but it does look like that double barrel. And I really like it. It's also very ergonomic in hand because your thumb, either hand, will naturally kind of fit in that groove. And it just, it just fits and feels really good. I know some people actually didn't even like this plasticky feel, but I think it feels a lot better than a lot of, of other mods on the market while still feeling light and robust. And yeah, I just, big fan, big fan. Uh, the Mutilus is awesome. I haven't put it down since I, uh, since I got it. Oh, interesting. What is this Mutilus? So we look at this. Let's do this. Um, uh, oh, shit me. That's not good. I don't want to be doing stuff like that because I might. Um, Mutilus. <laughs> Let's look at some images. Okay, what we're going to do is, can we screen share? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's screen share this one. Is this going to work? Oh, it is working. Oh, lovely. Okay, cool. So this is what they're calling the Mulus, which is basically another one of these guys sort of thing. Button on the side. Um, but yeah, they just seem to be really popular now. These 18650s uh, kind of guys, which have an 18650 battery, but kind of like a pod system, but it's more of just an all-in-one compact that's that's basically what it is, isn't it? It's an all-in-one compact. Um, there's no real messing around or getting around that. That's that's what it is. Interesting though, very very interesting. Oh, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. it's like a billy box, but way cheaper. Interesting. How much is way cheaper? Let's have a little booches. Uh, vape club. I've used vape club for years. Okay, under fifty pounds. Okay. 80 watt, yeah, as you can imagine from an 18650 device. Uh, two mil capacity, as you can imagine, TPD, which who knows what's going to happen to that now going forward. Large fire button. Whoa. You love it when there is a feature which is a large fire button. <laughs> what a feature that is. Mm. Let's put that comment on there. Okay, cool. So we're supposed to be talking about what's in for review. I mean, my God, we're distracted. And the last thing... Um, which is a little bit of an, a uh, kind of an interesting one, is this. This is a pod system called the... Uh, is it called Light or is the company called Light? I think it's called the Light. <laughs> um, and it's just a little pod system kind of guy. And I haven't tested it because I had this idea of potentially just doing an out-of-box review. Uh, just simply... Oh, my God. What is this autofocus happening about? Um, like, just basically doing out-of-box um, review... And just kind of like seeing just basically what kind of happens, I guess. Um, because, yeah, I'm kind of like in a mind of, I don't know, because a pod system's a pod system. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's kind of seen it. They kind of get what it's about and they kind of like already know what's kind of happening. Um, I, I don't know what else I can really say about a pod system. So I'm kind of thinking uh, my logic is that everybody will be kind of, interested in maybe like a more interactive live experience where I just take it out of the box. Oh, I'll actually show you guys because spoilers, that's what this live stream is kind of about. So you guys get a little heads up of what's happening and you kind of get a little sneak peek of what's happening. So this is the light little pod guy. Um, yeah, I don't know really what to make of that, what it kind of looks like, but it's a small little guy. Um, and the interesting thing about it for me is the filling station is also very similar to aspires original revo tank where you just push down and then fill up and it's very similar to the new vapresso pod system that has this little fill up thing from the top so you can fill this bad boy up without taking anything apart which is a big plus little push and fill up guy there and when you put it in number one it lights up but it also vibrates which is interesting because obviously like it lets you know that you've just put a put a thing in a thing I'll try and see if I can vibrate this next to the mic. You, you ready? Science. I don't. I don't know if you heard that, but yeah, it vibrated. So yeah, really interesting little guy, and I am interested to see like how that kind of performs. Um, a little bit hesitant to do it uh, for the first time on camera because more likely than not. It's probably not going to be great. <laughs> Just you know, based off everything that we kind of experienced so far. Uh, takes Nautilus. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I might need to uh, read that one out just to basically do a comparison video to some other things. Um, because you guys know I love my comparison videos because I don't know, I just find it fascinating to basically see a product 
versus a product of the same field, which I personally think is maybe the best, or at least up there with the best of them. So interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. We've also got another legend in the house, Mr. Chris Grimes, the big dick on campus himself. If nobody knows, I don't know where you've been living because everyone should know this, but Chris is one of the best coil builders in the UK, nay, the world. Um, yeah, apparently, well, I haven't, I've never actually tried his coils, but I've heard raving reviews from so many different reviewers about how good these coils are and literally rate them as the very best. Uh, Mark TVP is one of them rates them literally as the best coils known to man and also last forever. So if you guys are interested in any handmade quality coils to get the very best flavor from your RTAs or RDAs, that's your man. That's the ma your man you want to talk to. Okay, and he'll handle all of your business. Mm. Okay, now what are you guys drinking on? Are you, anyone else drinking? If you guys are drinking, let me know. That would be awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I think that's everything that I've kind of got in for review that I haven't already told you guys about, or at least I haven't spoken about on my last video. So that should hopefully, you know, tick everybody's boxes. So the next little thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, which is basically more asking you guys than me just talking about, I will talk about my experiences, but um, I want to know about what your guys favorite e-liquids are so oh another legend how many legends can we get in one stream i mean it's absolutely mental uh scott's reviewer as you can imagine is a reviewer if you don't know who that guy is uh the best coil builder uh in the uk personally boom there you go there's a promotion right there oh also shane said boom chris's coils are awesome so there's two people saying that chris is the big dick on campus so that's all you need to know uh, and also thanks for dropping by Scott's, uh, geez, thanks. There you go. A lot of love in the chat. A lot of love. So favorite e-liquids. This is where I want to ask you guys some questions, and this is where it's going to be more chat-based. I'm going to quickly go through some of my favorites, but I'd love to know if you guys have tried these e-liquids, and if you have tried them, what you what you personally think of them, because these are some of my favorite. These are my top of the top. And also, if there's anything I've missed which you guys think I should try, or what's your favorite e-liquids of, not even 2019, just your favorite e-liquids you've ever tried. Let me know in the chat right now, because I think it'll be really interesting to see, especially compare if some people have similar e-liquids and whatnot. So this one is, I'm gonna go for more brands because I actually love pretty much all the e-liquids these brands come out with. This brand has been my favorite for years, and I've tried it years later, and it's still my favorite, or one of my favorites. So it's called Islander. So if you guys know about this e-liquid, like, let me know, but um, it is, let me see if I can just change the old autofocus just so we can um, actually see it. Just changing, there we go. So this is Islander, and this is Beach Bum. So they've got three different main flavors. Each of the flavors is just really, really good, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, they've got some amazing flavors. Each of them are kind of like uh, cocktail based and just, oh, mate, oh, buddy, they are just so good. Highly recommended. I think they are more of a 60, 40 PG, VG ratio sort of uh, guy. Oh, 70, 30. They're 70, 30. It's not very high end on the uh, VG, but still rather high end. But mate, whew, that is some good shit. Uh, some quick other ones. I'm going to go also old school once again. Uh, so this one is also just a fan favorite I've had for years. And I think this is quite popular. So I think quite a few people might know about it. But this is Kilo Dewberry. If you guys know about uh, Dewberry by Kilo, um, it's a blueberry, creamy, sugary something. I don't know how to explain it. It's just yum. <laughs> just yum in a bottle. It's amazing it really really is um and this was actually bought uh for me by a patron so absolutely massive shout out massive love to all my patrons um incredible e-liquid so i'd love to know if you guys have tried any of these um and if you have what you think of them if you actually rate them as some of your best like me but oh mate they are literally on point they really really are um next is some newer sort of ones and i'm knocking some over i've got two of them i've got all the flavors in there i had two of each and literally, these are the only ones I have left. Um, 
So if I quickly hold them up here, so this is six licks. If I hold them, wait, 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 wait where's the camera? There we go. Turn it this way. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, there we go. So this is six licks. Um, and I've got melon on my mind and gold, um, liquid gold. Liquid gold is what I'm vaping on right now in some of my tanks. But this one, holy shit. If you like watermelon and you like, this has got a little bit of menthol in there. So warning, if you don't like menthol, you're, you're probably not going to like this. But oh my God, Six Licks has an incredible range, a real incredible range. I really wanted to be sponsored by them, to be honest with you, because I absolutely love their e-liquids. And I think they'll be a wicked sponsor but you might as well just give it out for free am i right <laughs> okay and then the last one is one that i absolutely love so i put it on my um my store and this is gator vapes uh their whole range is really really strong flavors and that's what i like i like something sweet and strong that you're going to know about it and then boom oh mate absolutely awesome so i have seen a few things in chat which i'm just going to quickly jump out at um, so Scott's uh, reviewer, Black Vine by Rochford Project. Oh, mate, he looks like he's jizzing in his pants over that one. So that one does look good. And I have heard some good things. I have tried Rochford product Project's stuff before. Unfortunately, I don't really do e-liquid reviews. So he doesn't really send me his new stuff anymore, which is sad face. But <laughs> it is what it is, and I totally understand. And I've heard amazing things. I've heard it's literally like crack. Like, people absolutely love that stuff. Heard good things about the kilo juices, Gaz, mate. Honestly, some of them are, I don't know, not gonna blow your mind. They're, they're pretty good, but they're kind of like flavors you've seen before. But I have to recommend uh, Dewberry. Whew. That is that is an absolute e liquid right there. <laughs> um, funny enough, uh, Vape Punk's uh, Pearberry. Um, I know the guy who makes that. It's probably this guy right here. But um, yeah, I've heard really, really good things about that range as well. Um, absolutely awesome. I remember when Kilo partnered with Nasty Juice for limited edition flavors, and I missed them all. Ah, oh, shit. I bet that would have been pretty fucking good. Do they not do any of them anymore then? Because that kind of like sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Nope, I'm out. I don't know why I've... Have I missed something? Does that mean you're leaving? Or does that mean you're just out of e-liquids or out of ideas? I have no idea. But I appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> so yeah, I'd love to know if there's any e-liquids that I haven't mentioned, which you guys think, uh, especially if you're re-watching this as a video, let me know what um, e-liquids that you guys personally try on that you know you think other people must try. Or just a must-try e-liquid. Because I probably... Well, I'm going to try and do a best of um, 2019... Uh, but I'm most likely not going to do an e-liquid version of it because I don't really do too many e-liquid reviews. And I don't think it's necessarily in my place to actually make a video like that, especially as other reviewers review e-liquids and will do a much better job than me. So I'm going to leave it to the pros and I'm just going to stay out of it. But I'd love to know about what some really good e-liquids are for me to actually go out and buy and try because... Yeah, just interested in that. Just see what the market's like because there was a topic on a few live streams basically saying how... Um, some of the newer e-liquids are far better than the old school uh, e-liquids in terms of the way they make them and everything like that. But I somewhat disagree in some respects because, like I said, Islander, old uh, e-liquid. Also, Kilo is known for some old e-liquid. They've been around for a while. And I think their recipes are just absolute killer. Absolutely just some of the best. Like, real good. So let me quickly just see. Oh, this... um. This brings me on. Uh, oh, we've got some. Sorry. I uh, see. This is the thing with the delay. This is why I need to fucking get better at because with the delay, I can see people commenting, but I'm already moving on. I ask them a question. I ask you guys a question and then you answer it. But because of the delay, I'm like already gone past it. Just jam. Oh, let me put this up by Shane. Just jam berry uh, shortbread cookie. Fuck. That sounds good. I'm not sure about cookie e liquids, though. I'm not going to lie about you, uh, lie to you because. I feel that it's quite hard to get shortbread and cookies right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Might be good. Maybe worth a try. But I do know there's quite a few people that do rate Just Jam very highly. And I do have an eat. Well, fuck. What is it called? Uh, I'm going to try and look for it. One sec. Uh, what was this? Oh, good. Man, I haven't, I haven't tried these in a fucking time. Oh, the Jam Vape Co. Jam Vape Co., which I assume 
is similar. Stop me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, if the if you've tried both, uh, just jam and also the jam vape co, and you're like Rob, there's no comparison. Please stop me if I'm wrong, but this is pretty good as well. I assume the same sort of flavor profile, just flavor for does, flavor for does. Oh shit, we've got another royalty. We're getting all the reviewers dropping in right now. And this is the Devil Vapor, who is my brother from another mother. Um, I think I'm in love with him. That's all I can say, really. I mean, what more can I say? I'm sure everyone already knows who he is because he's a bit of a fucking legend. Um, and yeah, how's it going? How's it going, Dean? Glad you can drop by. And what else we got here? I prefer desserts and custards. Uh, but some free two ones are pretty good too. So I go through phases. I go through phases where I'll have um, just like uh, custards and desserts over and over and over and over. And then like, as you can pretty much see, like in front of me right now, I'll then just go through um, uh, fruits. I'll just go through fruits for a period. I don't necessarily mix and match. I literally am either in a desserty mood. I just have that for about two weeks to a month. And then I switch to fruits. And I go desserts, fruits, desserts, fruits. I just keep like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is the same. I just think it's sometimes a little bit weird, especially when I've got a couple of setups on the go, and one of them is fruit, one of them's uh, desserts. I sometimes think it's a little bit weird to like mix and match them. I don't know why. It's just weird. I know it's weird, but yeah, I just tend to stick to one or the other. That's usually how I go. Um, oh shit, the comments are flying up now. Okay. Um, how you guys doing? How you doing, uh, JP Vape Reviews? How's it going, brother? Nice to see you in a few live streams and chat with you. Uh, Chemical Clown. Okay, Meg, blue slush done right. Oh, see, interesting that you say uh, blue slush done right because I have tried a few blue slushies and sometimes the flavor is so muted you need it on a pure dripper that you're practically drinking the stuff just to get any flavor. It's honestly sometimes just freaking crazy how shit some of these e-liquids can be, but... Interesting you say that one's a good one. How menthol is it, though? Because some of them try and combat uh, the lack of flavor of the blueberry slushy with just a shitload of menthol. And I like it, but I don't like brain freeze, like literal brain freeze just from vaping. I don't like... I don't like it in menthols and flowers. So fair enough, yeah. I can, in, I can get not vaping flowers. Oh, okay. We've got, we got a lot of love for Dean in, in chat. Showing some loves. Summer Jam is nice. Summer Jams. Interesting. I assume that's another Jamco sort of dealio going on there. Incest is okay. I just don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. And this is the other thing I was going to ask uh, like later on, like I said, if people want this to become more of a regular uh, vape show and try and get people on, I would love to try and get people like Dean on um, and like a bunch of names I've already mentioned, a bunch of you guys. And like I said, not necessarily just reviewers. I like to like some people in the industry, um, some people that you see a lot on live chats, um, on live shows, just because I think it'll be really interesting to get different, you know, viewpoints and things from different people. It's real fucking interesting. I recently bought one from a store here in Portugal, which is the famous blend, the scent, Midnight Oil. And it's very, very good. Midnight Oil, what flavor profile is that, though? And like, that's another thing that I dislike, is when there's a company that names their e-liquid, but names it something so different or so arbitrary that it doesn't like represent the flavor at all. You know, um, it's just really odd. Especially, Well, I do kind of get it in some ways because you want to be different and stand out-ish. But at the same time, like, for instance, Beach Bum, by Islander. What the fuck does a beach bum taste like? I probably shouldn't have asked that in chat, should I? I mean, I've done it now, but, <laughs> but yeah. Vaping just laughing. Just got some laughing going on. I usually vape with tobacco, mainly from Juice Cabin. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, my question to you then, or pretty much anybody that vapes uh, tobacco flavors, is why? Not necessarily why so judgmentally, but for me personally, being able to now vape exclusively, um, I can't see why I'd ever go to tobacco. With all the flavor profiles that are now at my hands, it just seems like almost a waste to go back to tobacco or tobacco-like flavors. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm, I'm, I'm not necessarily against it. I just won't usually... The things I won't vape is tobacco, 
well, I say I won't vape, I have vaped them before, but I try not to, is tobacco, um, licorice as well, not, not my jam. Um, what else? Coffee. I'm not a big fan of some coffees. Some are quite sweet and nice, but most, I don't know, just not for me. I'm not really a coffee guy as well, so that's probably why. But, yeah, just not for me. Uh, but if I switch, uh, it'd be too cakey base than fruit. Oh, I see. So you do jump around. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So that's what I try and do as well. I try and move from fruits, desserts, fruits, desserts, because I also find if I vape on like just fruits for a while, I get vapor's tongue on some flavors and yeah, it just, it's just a bit, yeah, bit crap. <laughs> oh, I'm knocking over, just knocking over all these e-liquids. Oh, and if anyone's drinking anything, like I mentioned, just let me know. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. What is the best blue raspberry juice in the UK, please? Interesting. God knows. No idea, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> does that does that answer your question? Can anybody in chat help Derek out? Because that is obviously what the vape community is about. If I don't know the answers, I'm hoping someone else in the community does, and we can help each other and answers and questions. So if anybody knows of the best blue raspberry juice in the UK, let Derek know, because unfortunately I can't think of anything right now. Blue raspberry as well. I never enjoyed tobacco liquids until I tried some that are blended with other flavors, like a caramel biscuit tobacco is lovely, but a weird smoky sweet <laughs> flabber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh interesting. Yeah, I do I do agree with that. I had before a it was like tobacco and caramel, but it had something else like a vanilla maybe. Um and the tobacco was uh, the initial flavor you got right at the start of the vape and then instantly went and it went to this creamy caramelly sort of sweetness. And it was actually quite nice. It was actually quite an enjoyable vape just because you got that tobacco straight away and then it mellowed out. And that's the only way I could actually probably enjoy it because if it was a tobacco that stayed with me, I feel that, yeah, I don't know. I feel that it would, I'd get bored of it real fucking quick. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of juices from, uh, I believe, really banging, decent prices too. Interesting. So there's a good little tip for anybody out there that wants to save a little bit of money, especially over this Christmas period, because I know it can hurt some motherfuckers. Uh, this Christmas period can be a little bit fucking pricey. I know that for fucking sure. Uh, so there's a little uh, little bit of a tip right there from my boy Deans. Um, and apart from the juicer from vape mail subscription, I've been on Zeus Juice. Bad guys. Without getting vapor's tongue? Fuck me, Dean. Really? Because I know you're on Black Ice a lot. Just by Instagram and everything else, you seem to be on it. Like, it, it is your all-day vape. Am I wrong? Like, stop me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's your all-day vape. And you don't get vapor's tongue from that. Is it the menthol, maybe? Maybe it's the menthol? I don't know. But yeah, that's if you don't get vapor tongue for that, fair enough. That's got to be some fucking high value juice, high quality juice for sure. Uh, that Zeus juice is really nice, Dean. Interesting, interesting. It's my crack. Oh my god, I, I need some of uh, Dean's crack in my life. I mean, I just want to get all up in Dean's crack. Wait, what? <laughs> um, Chris, how's it going? I'm good, bud. I am really good. I'm always good. I'm just having a good time, chilling out, talking to some buds over the internet it's about vaping i mean with with a uh, with a cider in hand which is a fruity cider because i'm a fruity kind of guy and then some fruity liquids i mean what could be better and there you go i should have just said that because you said like five seconds ago <laughs> but gaz has recommended uh for blue raspberry is chemical clown meg so there you go chemical clown meg free promotions boom <clears throat> Oh, okay, 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 I get it, I get it, that makes sense, I guess. Um, also, Exceptional Vapes do a blue Raz Candy, £15 for 100 mil, that's not bad. Blue Raz Candy, interesting. Yep, my all-day vape, literally haven't vaped anything else except for the juices I've reviewed. Fuck me, and it doesn't give you vapor's tongue. Mm. That is interesting. Oh, am I even talking to the mic? <laughs> I've noticed the mic is like kind of behind me, so I'm just gonna just gonna move that kind of there. So I'm hoping you guys heard me that I've just been rambling for this time. But yeah, it is what it is. 
I'm good. Just got home from work. Oh, fair enough, bud. You uh, go sit down, have a cheeky brewski, get some vaping going on. I haven't vaped in a while, so I'm going to just have a little toot. That is good. And what's perfect about this, this has some raspberry in it. And I don't think it has pineapple. It has something sweet. Uh, maybe like a mango or something. But this paired with this, woo, going down an absolute dream right now. Oh, and also I'll just mention once again, eSig Click Awards. Um, if you want to vote for me, that'd be awesome. There's a whole load of categories, a whole load of great people. Uh, go vote. I think it's really important for people just to vote, just to get some um, information out there and make sure it's not too biased uh, by just having like the keen beans going out and reviewing and uh, reviewing. Um, oh, taking part in voting. Words. Struggle. <laughs> um, also, if you guys could like and maybe even share this stream, that would be absolutely awesome. And if you guys are re-watching it, make sure to leave a comment on anything that I've said. Um, bup, 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 bup. Uh, vape goo. Vape goo. No, I haven't tried vape goo. That doesn't even sound that appealing. <laughs> Cat flap out the head. <laughs> Having a beer and a vape now. Nice, nice. What's everyone vaping on? That's something that usually everybody asks. Um, so I'll ask that right now. So I've had a few things like I mentioned at the beginning that I'm reviewing. Um, Swag 2 is what I'm currently rocking right now and really enjoying. So that's going to be my setup. What are you guys uh, vaping on right now? E liquids set up? Let me know. It'd be interesting, especially if there's products. Which more and more and more people are recommended that they're, that they're using. I vote for you too. Oh my god, bro! Let's, get, let's just show some love right now. Thanks for everybody who voted for me. I really, really appreciate that. Take it easy, Shane. Boom! Fist bump. Ba 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 ba. Much love. Thank you so much for dropping by. Anyone got a good hangover cure e-liquid? Ooh. So I reckon, I'll tell you, like, just randomly, uh, when I'm ill, not necessarily a hangover, but when I'm, like, not feeling well, usually cold, menthol. Honestly, honestly, menthol really does help. It does waken you up. It makes you breathe a little bit easier, and it genuinely does help. Um, so when I'm ill, I usually vape on menthol. There are some menthols which are, like, double menthol, extra strength. That shit will make you see through time. But <laughs> so if you just do a nice, easy menthol, um, yeah, that really helps me. Hangover, maybe the same thing. Maybe a menthol might wake you up a little bit more, but I'm not I'm not too sure, really. I'm thinking you just you're just gonna be hanging to be honest with you. Uh vape goo is cheap and off is cheap and awfully cheap, isn't always better. Yeah, very true. That is fucking very true. Cheap is not always the way. It's not always the way, but I mean, if it's going to save you some dollar and still taste good, why not give it a go? Geek Vape Aegis Legend, Hell Vape Fat um, Rabbit Sub Ohm Tank plus Zeus Juice Black Ice. I think that's your daily, isn't it? Pretty much. What happened? What was that other mod? There was um, it was it a Tesla Y? Was that the other mod that was your all-day vape? Um, did that finally die? Has that has that has that been killed off? Have you moved to another mod now? Because I know you had that for absolutely ages. It was almost a running joke that it just didn't die. Nice, nice butterscotch custard. I think the did you say you had that last week as well? My God, man! I'm on a dreamer with Dead Rabbit uh, V2 and a customer uh, box mod. Oh. So you, you're a big fan of the uh, Dead Rabbit, I guess, then. To be fair, I actually really like the Dead Rabbit original, also the RTA, and also the V2. So I can't really say anything. I think, yeah, it's pretty good. Rob, it's time for Din Dins. Uh, but I have, an, uh, have an idea of a name for the wonderful live stream. The People Show, question mark, question mark. Sounds good. Sounds good. I was thinking like the Vapor Show or something like that. But, I mean, my imagination isn't that amazing to think of stuff. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see. Also testing out the Vaptio Razor at the moment. Another pod kit. Same old, same old. Yeah, fucking tell me about it, bro. Have you had um this thing? It's called Light. It's like another sort of pod system. I don't know if I've seen anyone else have this yet. Um, it's 
I haven't tried it, but I assume it's just another pod system. Just interested to see if anyone's kind of got that as well. Oh, that was it. Yeah, it's still going strong. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ almighty. Fair enough. Yeah, I am. Cool, 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 cool. Damn. Big lover of the dead rabbit over there. But, I mean, who isn't? I mean, it's a pretty good... Also, I heard, randomly while talking about that, um, Mike Vapes has teamed up to make something else. Uh, what else is he... I can't remember who it is. He's teamed up with someone, a new company, another new company. I know how many companies can there be, but yeah, he's just absolutely killing it right now. I just bought the Kylin RTA. Great flavor. I've heard really good things about the uh, Kylin RTA. Uh, right now I'm on the BOHR chaser with the gear RTA. I retried. I don't know if you guys, well, from the last stream, um, I was trying the gear RTA because I was trying that with the, um kel p and i was trying basically a few single coil rtas because i was trying low wattage single battery mods and mate the gear rta still holds up uh i did throw that one in the bin because you know the the um the issue i said that the gear rta has yeah mine had a big fucking time so i had to throw it in the bin i've still got one left somewhere so i've still got a gear rta but yeah apart from that issue yeah pretty pretty sweet Model day vape is dot mod two hundred. I mean, Chris. I mean, if we could all afford dot mod two hundreds, we would all have them. Um, intake dual RTA. Yeah, I reviewed that recently. Absolutely boss RTA. <laughs> Flavor bosses cream uh, puff and custard eat uh, biscuit eater. Interesting. Cream and biscuit. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That email went straight into the pin for the <laughs> like, Fair enough, bud. I can only imagine. The only thing I uh, found interesting about it is what you also might like in your spare time. It has this little vibrate function that when you plug it in, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it has this little vibrate kind of thing. And I think that's quite cool. I mean, it's not really needed. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not needed, but I think it's quite cool. <laughs> Uh, Rinko do some uh, crack and cheat mods by I'm using the Mechman 228 since May and still going strong. Nice, nice, nice. I think there is a few mods out there that are actually um, more built to last because um, there definitely is. I, I take quite good care of my mods to be honest with you, unless I'm like testing them for a particular reason. If they are like named to be indestructible, then I will throw the fucker around. But uh, most of the time, I take quite good care of it. I think most of my mods um have lasted so if there is a mod that doesn't last you know that is hella shit because yeah i try and take care of it there you go proofs in the pudding if, if it's cheap and it works it's cheap and it works and I mean, if it stands the test of time because you have to imagine that if it's like 30 quid and it lasts you a year i think that's value for money if it's 30 quid and lasts you two years then that's incredible. And if it goes any further than that, then oh my god, like you're doing, you're doing well, you're doing really well. I got uh, the Geek Vape Moose Pod Kit with rebuildable deck. Nice. I think that is. Uh, well, it seems really, really popular. Really, really popular. So um, I do believe that is quite a good one. Uh, vibrates randomly. Doesn't even say why in the structure manual. Yeah. Well, I mean, sure. Yeah. I love I love these added features that some of these uh, products have. They just randomly do shit. Like um, Asmodus had the changing color on the screen and weird shit like that. Just why why yeah what yeah just why uh, yeah costly uh, but they last a long time and the last box lasted just over two years before the chip died. So fair enough. I mean you do get your value out of it, I guess. Then um, and that's I guess the point is if it does cost a lot of money but it lasts then it's probably worth it rather than getting a cheap, you know, 30, 40, 50 pound mod. It breaks in six months. You have to buy another one. It breaks in six months. You have to buy another one. It breaks in six months. Then, yeah, it's just, yeah. I'm just charging my boost with the R RBA on. Um, <laughs> impatiently waits. I think um, Mark um, TVP uh, has has and I think he rated it really highly. I think he um, really liked it. But he said that the Fetch by uh, Smock is apparently the best pod system on the market. So I don't know if it'd be worth getting one of them because I think that'd be quite interesting to try. And Dean, while you're in chat, when are we going to see you on a live stream? 
when's this when's the next time we're gonna see you on a live stream obviously if you can't say because of spoilers and stuff then i understand but i mean are you gonna do your own stuff is there anything else in the pipe work i mean i'd be interesting because you're a funny dude it'll be cool to see you on lives again and soon Woo. man man this is good this double coil Going through the e liquid a little bit, but hmm, it's doing the job. Okay. Oh, so I've got two things left. So I'll quickly switch to the next next topic. Um, and so this next topic is the best of 2019, and this isn't necessarily my best of 2019. This is me just in general want to see, put some feelers out there, what people have a standout item. It doesn't need to be a whole range of different items. It's just one standout item which you think is the dog's dick. It's it's the best of the best. It's the top dog. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to know if there's anything that you've tried this year, you guys in chat right now, where you've tried this year and you just think, yeah, that's the best thing I've tried ever in vaping. It could be e-liquid, it could be a tank, it could be a dripper, it could be a mod, it could be a pod system, anything like that. I'd be really interested to know. Oh, here we go. I'll be on Nature Vapes uh, channel on Tuesday, winky face. Nice, nice, nice. So you're going to catch up with Mark. Uh, as for anything else, there's nothing in the pipeline this side of Christmas. Okay. Ooh, little, little spoilers, a little bit of... Uh, extra info nice i like it so potentially live streams coming back i need a fucking shave um live streams coming back potentially early next year that'll be interesting because i think there's a whole load of different shows either coming back or being rebooted so you've got uh tvp and mark um sorry mf ape he's uh, they're going to be doing a new show in the new year you obviously got the uk vape show potentially coming back in the new year you have a few other new streams that have recently popped up including gazes so it's an interesting time it's a good time uh if you are a vapor that is interested in live streams because i think it's a really good way to interact especially as someone like me my vape reviews are just vape reviews I don't try and necessarily put any personality behind it because I just want to get the information to you motherfuckers. Um, so hopefully if I do more of these, you might, you know, you, know, you might hate me more. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, people can watch my best of 2019 video uh, to find out my faves. Winky face. What a plug. I mean, what? What do you think this is? <laughs> no, fair enough. And I, well, I don't know. See, like, Usually people put their videos out before me because I'm really fucking lazy and I usually do it in the new year. Um, and I try not to watch them because it's really hard to like get it out of your mind, especially when someone says like, this is the best in the world. And you're like, fuck, like I don't think that, but now I kind of can't not think that. Like, Damn. So I'll definitely uh, keep an eye out for that one. I'm back. Last minute customer. Oh, okay. Customer just jumping in. What time is it? Oh, half five. Okay, so I'm guessing you close maybe at about six. Bastards. Bastards coming in. Vaping with CJ's in the motherfucking house. We're getting so many reviewers. I think I think just reviewers just love to pop in right now. Love it, though. I love I love because I, I don't really talk to many reviewers. So I absolutely love to see some in chat and get to have this one-on-one, -on -one, this bounce back and forth. So how's it going, bud? And then people saying hi. Uh, just got the Topside Jewel mod. Uh, my first... Um, squonk quality. Okay, so you would say the top side jewel is your best sort of product right now, 2018. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I, I kind of think a lot of people will agree with you on that. Um, the VA Knight Stabwood. Vicious Ant Knight Stabwood. Sandra, if we could all afford that, we would. I mean, fuck me, if I could afford a Vicious Ant. Ah, oh, mate. I mean, I probably could, but I just couldn't, couldn't justify it. It's just... A lot of money, but I'm not going to lie. Vicious Ant is up there. If I could ever get him as a sponsor, I might literally jizz in my pants. Like, fuck. Like, awesome. Uh, yeah, six on Sunday. Whew. That's late, bud. I don't know if I could do that. Oh, shit. we got more vape reviewers in the house. I just can't get away from them. Jesus, guys. <laughs> Sub realist? Well, I mean, real recognize real, right? So if you're calling me the realist, you must be real too. That's all I can say. How's it going, boys? Well, I say boys. How's it going, mate? Glad to see you in chat. Look at all the loves as well. Beautiful. So, yeah, 
Best of 19, of course, some of these bigger mods, uh, more expensive mods, will probably make the list just because, you know, they're big boys. They're up there with the best of them. So, yeah, it does make sense. For me personally, I don't know. I don't know. I need to really sit back and think about what I personally think is the best of 19 because I think there is quite a few good products out there that have done really well. Um, like Things like the top side do come to mind in terms of that area and that category because Squonking King was around before it, obviously for years, but it seems when the top side came out, it just kind of fucking like destroyed that kind of section of vaping. It was actually like, if you're going to be Squonking, King, the top side is what you buy. And I think it's been a while since the products come out and literally just dominated the market like that, which is really interesting. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay, you have to remember that. This side updates before this side. But yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, cool. So we've had a few things about the uh, best. Um, it'll be interesting to see if I do the best pod system, the best RTA tank and all that kind of stuff because with pod systems, that's probably going to be the hardest category just because of sheer fucking numbers of the guys. Um, and I don't know. Is it a category I should do? I mean, it, I've, I've, I assume loads of people must like pod systems just because there's so many of them. I mean, I'll even vape on this guy right now, but... I mean, I don't know if it is a category that, I don't know, maybe it should. I think Geek Vape have had a good year, and Dove Pro, yeah, for sure, for sure. They definitely had a good year. They really have. Um, <clears throat> what juice you use? So like I mentioned, some of my top favorite juices come from lines like Six Licks. Absolutely love some Six Licks. Uh, but what is my um, go-to? It's really hard. It's probably literally going to be something like a melon e-liquid like uh, Melon on My Mind by Six Dicks. That's probably one of my go-tos, just because I know from experience I can pretty much put that in anything and it's going to taste good, just because it's such a high-quality liquid. It really is. Age of Squonker looks interesting. Yeah, I've seen that. It does look interesting. Um, yeah, we'll see what that's about. But this is the thing. I don't know. I don't know if things are going to knock stuff like uh, Dove Poe's um, topside off, because... I don't know, I feel that I don't know if that's just got a hold now, but we have to see because you know every everything gets like um reinvented almost every year. So there'll probably be something else out there is pretty much identical that just looks maybe slightly better. And we'll probably see that. I don't think I can be asking the best of like <laughs> it's really hard. And the thing is, with every fucking year, it's always going to be um yeah, fuck me. Every year, you're just always going to piss someone off. It doesn't matter who you are, you're going to say something on your best off that's going to piss someone off. And it's not necessarily that I mind about that. It's more of that it seems, I don't know, people really care about what I say sometimes and like to have a go. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, it's one of them things really interesting uh, to actually see people's top uh, like top threes. That's why people sometimes do top three, just because they want to have some people mentioned or some items mentioned. So I think I will do a top 10, not top 10, sorry, just a top of 2019. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, though. I don't know if I'm going to include all the categories as well. Like I said, pods. I don't know if I'll include it. It might be just too hard. It might be just too lengthy to go through. But we'll see. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Uh, we'll see. I've definitely got a good year. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers, people. Oh, my God. We're getting exclusives on this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Funny enough, funny enough, as they arse raped fucking everybody in their company, probably not. Probably not. Uh, they have a few good e-liquids, though, to be honest. Mmm. Damn fucking straight, hundred percent. Because this is one of the things. Even though, even when companies say pod on the box, more often than not, it's an all-in-one kit. And I mean, you could even get more specific because you have all-in-one kits that have uh, changeable tanks. You can have all-in-one kits that are fully like customized and enclosed in itself. I mean, you can have so many different categories. But yeah, I totally agree that you should have pods, all-in-one kits, and then rebuildable pods or rebuildable all-in-ones. Because that's basically that's what they are. But that's what I mean. If you subcategorize like that, you'll just have a video that goes on fucking forever because it's just gonna be long. 
I give away most of my review stuff too, so I don't have anything uh, left for reference. So I keep everything because when I first started, like back in the day, uh, it was a real taboo thing to do certain things with your vape stuff. Um, if you gave it away for giveaways, it was a little bit of taboo because it should have been new rather than uh, reused. Uh, it would have been taboo if you sold it. Uh, so what I tend to do is keep it or I give it away for free to individuals, uh, either people I work with, uh, friends, family, you know, that kind of thing. Um, just randomly sometimes. Like, for instance, when I get a bunch of pod kits in, like someone at work might be vaping and their vape is just 17,000 years old and just keeps breaking. And I'll just be like, mate, just have a couple of pods, have, a, have an all-in-one kit, just do it. You know, it's just fucking easier, especially as like sometimes you get duplicates and all this other shit. And sometimes it's hard to actually just get rid of the shit. I have three Dove Po mods. Wow, fair enough. So there you go. That's what I mean. They must be quite popular because there's quite a few people that have quite a few of their mods. So yeah, be interesting. Look at this guy. Making a list since the beginning of the year, mate. Jesus Christ. Dean's fucking on it. I mean, I need to probably pull my finger out. I'm, I'm worried about the next review, let alone what I'm going to be doing in a year's time. I might do that for next year, honest. Wise Guru. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, to be honest, because like I said, I forget. Why? This is how I tend to actually do it legit. I'd get a list of all my videos that I published in 2019, and that's how I do my review of the whole year. I don't necessarily do it from release. I do it from when I reviewed it, because most likely when I reviewed it in that year, it came from that year. There might be a little hangover either side, but, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Let's be honest with ourselves. So that's how I tend to do it. And obviously, there's a few things I've missed, but I can't include things I haven't reviewed unless... Uh, no, you can't, really. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, pods and all the ones have uh, melted into one this year. I just see pod as a buzzword for companies use. Honestly, it's it's crazy what companies kind of like get away with. But I think it's because of the success of pods. They want to kind of like just use that as, like you said, a buzzword. It's it's just a throwaway word now to mean a generic kind of like amount of devices. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm going to do the best of. Um, I haven't reviewed much hardware, so you're going to be introduced. Honestly, uh, CJ, that's not a bad thing at all because someone like me who doesn't review e liquids will actually go out to see them videos to see what e liquids are the best. I do think they should be separated from hardware, so you do should do a best of 2019 hardware and a best of 2019 e liquid potentially. If they're if you're going to do it by categories, and there's quite a lot of e liquids, if it's just going to be like one or two e liquids, then obviously include it in the best of, but. I'll be I'll be personally interested in the best of e liquid edition just because for me personally I don't vape um, I don't review e liquid so I don't have quite a lot coming in and I am sometimes a bit novice to what's good at the moment so I'll absolutely be loving to interest uh, really interested to know my words are just not coming out right now oh <clears throat> in my opinion uh, you do what you want Rob if it's new you give it away if it's used you do yeah well. Pfft. Dean Bud is easier said than done. <laughs> but no, I, mate, honestly, like, like, yeah, I, I don't, I honestly don't really care that much, to be honest with you. Um, I, I'm just going to do what you want. But it's one of them things I do, uh, I say I don't care, but at the same time, I don't know, I guess I just want to be liked and loved by everyone. And I know that's not physically possible. I mean, I know that I'm not going to get on with everybody, but I like to think I'm a nice enough guy that is easy enough going that I can get on with anybody. But, yeah, it is what it is. I, sh I shouldn't care as much. I should just be like, fuck it. Fuck everybody. I'm the realist. Boom, 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 2019. Where do you see yourself um, <laughs> next year, dude? Fuck me. Hopefully not dead in the ditch. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if vaping's still around, then I'll probably still do vape reviews. If it's not, uh, I'll either move on to something else. So people might not know this, but I used to do game streaming. That's what I used to do. That was my bread and butter. I did uh, game streaming, and I actually did fairly okay. I mean, literally, like my first couple of streams, I think I got about two thousand followers, and then in my first like ten streams, I think I got up to about four thousand, and then I think by fifteen, I was in like six k, seven k, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I actually got quite successful in streaming games um, quite quickly. 
just didn't have enough passion to do it. And even though I was getting donations and I had Patreon with it and all these other things, I was actually making like not too bad money considering I'm just playing games. I just stopped because money's not necessarily a motivator for me. You know, um, I just, it's just something that I enjoy doing. So if this is something, and, and obviously by the duration that I've been doing this channel, you can tell that I love it. So if it's something that still I can potentially do in the future, I'll definitely do it. I'll, be, I'll, I'll still be making reviews uh, once a week, twice a week next year. That's what that's what I'm going to be doing. Will there be anything different? Maybe a live stream? Um, I don't know. Maybe a live stream. Maybe a collaboration live, live streams. I, I, I just... Who knows? I guess I'm open for anything. We'll just see. We'll just go with the flow. I'm screwed as I mainly do juice reviews. Why are you screwed, mate? Loads of people look for juice reviews. Like I said, even people and myself. I've been vaping like six years, reviewing for like just over two, maybe three years. And I look for juice reviews. So there's definitely a market for it. You don't need to be worried about it. And that's how everybody starts. Everybody does juice reviews when they first start reviewing. It's just a rite of passage. That's not bad. Like, cheers, mate. Well, I'm a genius. So, yeah. So, uh, speaking about getting on with people, I did a live show yesterday and quite a lot of trolls. Mate, you're always going to get trolls. I wouldn't, I would not, I'm not regarding people like trolls as people, to be quite frank, because you're always going to get that. And also, it's just, it's just an age old saying that if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. Okay, jealousy is something that pretty much every human has. It's a human emotion that everybody has. And haters usually generate from jealousy. And if people aren't jealous of your content, you're doing something wrong. If there's lots of people jealous of your content, you're doing something right. That's the way I look at it. And you just got to say, fuck the haters. I mean, that's literally it. Don't give a shit about them. I mean, they can do what they like, but if anything, they might be just promoting you even more. So it is what it is. Let them be jealous. Let them be cocksuckers. Just what it is. Woo. So yeah, best of 19. Interesting. There's a few reviewers out there that are going to do a list, a video. So I'll be really interested to see what that's going to look like when it's out. Uh, I potentially will be doing one soon. Actually, I should be able to do one maybe just after Christmas. Maybe. Don't hold me to it, <laughs> but maybe. So maybe look around about then. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll try and get something in the works for sure. And this puts me on basically to my last sort of topic, uh, which obviously is quite a nice transition because you just mentioned about Vape Show. So this is my second stream. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't been doing this a long time, which is really surprising for a lot of people considering I'm, what am I? uh 4.7k coming up to 5k subs a lot of people who have smaller channels than me have been streaming for years and a lot of people tend to seem to stream like when they reach like 1k or even less than that to be honest with you it seems like everyone's streaming right now um but it seems around that 1k 2k mark well literally what pretty much it seems when people hit 1k they stream. When people hit 2K, they definitely stream. By 3K, it's almost a guarantee that they stream. By 4K, it's, oh my God, they've been streaming for a while now. I'm nearly 5K and I haven't really streamed at all. And it's not necessarily because I don't. Like I said, I used to do game streaming. So I used to do this all the time and absolutely love it. It's just, I don't know, the time, the effort. I really didn't have the streaming audience and um, I didn't really know. I want to do, I want to I wanna make the best content. That's just fucking it. Facts. I just want to make the best content. And I don't necessarily want to make another vape show that's going to be identical to others or even worse than others in other er in some respects. I want to make a show which is my own and one of the best, or if not, the best. Um, I'm not saying that I can do that, but that's what I'd like to do. Um, so, yeah, that's what is this kind of segment right now, if you can see right here. Once again, this is a shout out to... All the lovely people that are re-watching this and, of course, in chat right now live. Um, what would you like to see from a vape show? Potentially, and also possibly what currently isn't in vape shows. If there is something that you thought of which you're like, this would be awesome if vape shows did this. Or this would be awesome if I could see this in vape shows. Let me know what that is if you have any ideas. If you don't, you don't. But if you have any ideas, I'll be really interested to know if there's anything that you currently don't have in a vape show which you would love to have 
in a vape show because I've got a few ideas, a few things knocking around. And like I said, if I want to do it, I want to do it right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure like how it'll work and if I should be on my own, if I should have other people, if I have other people, who them other people should be. I'll be really interested to know what you guys think because it's not necessarily as easy to say, oh, Rob, you should do a show with this guy or you two should do a show all the time because, you know, even though we're reviewers and we have that in common, we might not necessarily have the right personality clash or it might be, you know, especially after so many years, you can have falling outs and stuff because, I don't know, you just, I don't know, you're forcing it, I guess. You need to have more of a natural sort of bond with someone. But I'd be interested to know if anyone thinks there's something missing from vape shows right now and what that could be. Um, and if people right now who are reviewers watching this that also have vape shows, look away. Just look away. <laughs> uh, CJ, yesterday the amount of trolls you had yesterday was like a garden full of weeds, mate. That, that wasn't. That's not too great then. Fair enough. And there's a line between friendly banter and hated trolls. Yeah, exactly. So. This is what also some people seem to misconstrue because I can be very easily misconstrued for this. I am all about friendly banter, always. That's that's all my friendship group is uh, that I have, is just friendly banter. And so I'll have that with people that usually give it to me. So people will throw it my way and I'll throw it back. It's when they don't receive that well, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I don't understand because they'll take it as, you know, hating or something like that. So there is a fine line, but... Yeah, I feel I feel there's a few trolls out there that I've seen in some streams that literally are just there just to troll. They're not for friendly banter, they're not to like necessarily have a bit of a to and fro with you. It's literally just to be a bit of a dick. So it's not a shame that it happens to be honest, but I mean at the same time it is what it is. So with this vape show, it'll be probably if I was to do it, uh this sort of time on Sundays, because Sunday's kind of my like wind down day. It's a little bit chill, a little bit relaxing. It'll probably be around this sort of time, like five, six-ish, around about then. And right now, the only real thing that I'd kind of like to happen um, with the vape show would be um, just to have a kind of chill, just to chill, chat, uh, but also have some topics and also have some things interested in there. Potentially stories potentially information, potentially something that you can obviously give to me and I obviously can give to you. I don't know, though. I just don't know. It'd be really interesting to see what could be created, I guess. Yeah. Be one to think about. But um, like I said, I might potentially try and do this on Sundays, each Sunday, so... And eventually, I'll hopefully need also some... Um, what are they called? Moderators in chat. So if there is anybody that's going to pretend, if I do this again next Sunday, if you come back next Sunday and you're a regular and want to be a moderator, let me know. Drop me a DM on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Let me know somewhere if you're interested in being a, a moderator because I think I potentially might need them. Uh, obviously, right now, I've had the fucking chillest stream with the chillest fucking chat ever. No haters, no issues whatsoever. Uh, there's some dislikes that we got, I guess, at the start of the stream, but I mean, I, I mean, I couldn't even tell you how little I care. But <laughs> it seems like we've had a pretty fucking chill one, really, really nice, really, really smooth. Yeah, pretty, pretty sweet. But yeah, like I mentioned, if anyone in chat right now uh, has any ideas for a new vape show, where you'd like to see, who you'd like to see it with, and also if you're re-watching this. Let me know in the comment section down below who you'd also like to see me do this with, or if you, even if you want me to do this. You might say, Rob, stick to reviewing. Live streams are not for you because you're a little bit of a bitch. And then I'll be like, fair enough. I kind of understand. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be really interesting. Like I said, I'll be really um, interested to see. Oh, there we go. Literally. Boom. This is what I was literally about to say is I'd love to have guests on as well. Um, but I want to do it differently because... I don't know. It's just I just want to. I'm I'm very I'm a very curious person, and I'd love to know more about a person, not necessarily vape wise, but personally. I don't know if it would be better to do a one on one, where I literally just get a one with like me, and another reviewer, and just cut the shit, just talk the shit out, and just literally just get shit. Just I don't know. Just get out in the open with, get to know them personally, get to know a little bit about their past, you know, little things like that. I think it'll be really interesting. 
Not that that hasn't been done before, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do my own little twist. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what this gesture is, but I'll do my own little twist about it. By curious. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, I'll be curious to see. I'll be curious to see. Let's, why Why not? Um, so, boys and girls, I will think I'll wrap it up now. You're doing good. Thank you, Sandra. You're absolutely lovely. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to wrap it up because I try and keep this for about an hour, hour and a half. That's roughly what I'm going to try and do. So I'll hopefully see you guys next Sunday. If you haven't voted for me as the best UK reviewer, what are you doing? Go to Easy Click. Hit that shit up. Vote for your boy. Um, don't forget to like this stream. Um, yeah. And hopefully, like I said, next stream, we might have someone on. So, you know, if you have any recommendations or if you want to be on the chat, fuck it. If you want to be on this show, let me know. Drop me a DM. Drop me a message. Just say, Rob, love the show. Want to be on your next one. How do we do it? And I'll get it going. Okay? That's it. That's done. Facts. Fun. Boom. Uh, you're doing good. Thank you so much, bro. I enjoyed it. I uh, enjoyed the live, Rob. Keep it going. I enjoyed the mate. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'll come on. Just message me. Boom. There you go. So we've already got some people lined up. So absolutely awesome. Um, it's nice you're doing live streams. Thanks. Thank you, James. Really appreciate that, that bro. So, yes. So, I'm going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching, though, guys. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already. Already? Already? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll hopefully be back on next Sunday. So, make sure to see me then. And I might have a guest then, maybe. So, yeah. So uh, catch you guys later. Take it easy. Have a great week. And I will see you in a week.